first your thoughts on uh, Easton Cowan tonight having a big game in his game? Yeah, he was great. Um, brings a lot of pace, brings a lot of speed. Um, he's a fiery guy, gets around that net, makes plays. So um, it's great to watch him live tonight. I mean, I know he's a great player, but to see it live was um, pretty incredible. How did you feel tonight? Pretty good, yeah. Um, Bill's a little hot in there tonight, but um, you know, first one's always good. Just get under your belt, get your legs going. Um, battle through a couple tough long shifts just to keep the legs going, and um, but overall felt pretty good. I mean, what's the key to learning with a new teammate? It's usually um, I mean, just new keep trying ideas. things. Yeah, just keep trying things. Um, Bert's opened up a lot the last couple weeks, and um, you know, we're just going to keep getting better and better. Obviously, it's the first real game together, so we're just trying to figure things out still, but. Um, you know, a couple plays tonight we were in the right spots, just didn't connect on them. So just got to keep trying them, keep talking, and you know, we'll figure it out. A lot of special teams to make of uh, Watson just kind of playing alongside you on the PK. Yeah, great. Um, I mean, like I've been saying, he's incredible at reading plays, picking off pucks. Uh, pucks. Um, he's um, incredible at getting in lanes and sacrificing his body. So um, don't want him doing it too much in preseason because we don't even go down or anything. But. Um, you know, he's, uh, he did a great job out there tonight, just keeping his feet going, um, reading plays. You know, the more he does it, the more he's just going to get comfortable with it and feel better with it. you make it your first game? Uh, a little scrambly, uh, like it always is, first uh, preseason game of the year. Uh, uh, overall, pretty good. Uh, there's obviously some situations where you want to handle the puck a little bit better uh, and stuff like that. Is it a feel thing or being on a new team? What do you think that is when it comes to... Uh, maybe a little bit of both, uh, but I think I gained a lot of experience from, like, from last year with coming to Anaheim, so I feel a lot more prepared for that this year. What are your early impressions of East and Cowan? Uh, really good, uh, flying through the middle of the ice, uh, great puck handler, uh, wins a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles as well, so yeah, he, uh, he surprised me a lot. Do you stand up more to you in the game than you had in camp practice to this point? Yeah, obviously we haven't played much. We had a was it 20 minutes scr uh, scrimmage so uh, it's tough to see something see something then obviously when you you start playing real games uh, comes uh, it comes more naturally for for everyone uh, you start hitting a lot more blocking more shots and stuff like that and I think he did a lot of that today where do you think you and, and Jake have uh, played how do you think you can grow together through training camp yeah I think it's just a matter of keep communicating with each other uh, Start to have a feel for each other's tendencies and stuff like that. Obviously, he was up on the rush a few times, and I was eager to get up there too. So I think it's just uh, a lot of goals. Have that feel for you tonight. Well, obviously, you know, you kind of get into it as the you know shifts go by, and uh, you know I was getting a lot of ice. Uh, would have liked to win. Uh, felt like you know I could have yeah. limited less turnovers there, but you know we'll build off of it. And, uh, like I said, I wish we came out with the, with the win there. How much nerves did you have on the penalty shot? Yeah, a bit of nerves, obviously, you know, the building's going crazy. Uh, just missed my spot and goalie made a good save. It's like actually wearing that jersey out Yeah, it feels good, obviously, you know, I wore it as a kid and then um, uh, wearing it, you know, at the draft there and then felt cool to put it on today, especially with some big names in the lineup. What did it say to, for you to be uh, the uh, extra attacker there in the, in the last minute? The coach had that faith in you. Yeah, you know, it's good they trust me there, and uh, I felt confident with my game. So, uh, you know, I'm glad we tied it up, but, you know, I wish we could have pulled that out there in the overtime. I think to bounce back and get some power play time as well after, after the penalty shot is when you scored in that. Yeah, you know, it's good. They, you know, they give me uh, power play time. You know, they trust me there, so I felt like I capitalized there. What's been the most surprising thing about your first NHL camp here? Uh, I think just, like, learning... Uh, you know what it takes to be a pro. I, you know, I've said that a lot, but you know, early wake up, so you know, going to bed early, and just like, like you get to the rink, you think you're there early, but no, like they're already there before you. So, um, you know, that kind of shocks you, but you'll take that back to junior with you, and you'll show the young guys, you know, what it takes to, you know, make the next step. Did you allow yourself a moment to look around and take it all in tonight? Yeah, obviously for warm ups there, I felt like you know I did that, and uh, kind of just seeing all the signs. I knew my family and friends were here, and you know, I'm excited to see them, and I'm glad they could make the trip here. Is there a sign for you? Did you know what you're going to do? I wasn't really focused on that. I was more focused to get my feet under me out there. So uh, maybe there was. Even though it's preseason, will you keep the puck? Uh, no. No, that doesn't really matter. We lost, so we'll move on.
more of what he showed us in Traverse City and what he showed early in camp, but uh, thought he put an exclamation point on it tonight. He was outstanding. He was, you know, I, I saw on the bench, I'm trying to talk myself out of playing him, to be honest, cause, uh, because it's, you know, I got, I got Matthews and I got Camp and I got Holmberg, you know, all these guys that are you know, older guys that are here and they, you know, they need to get their minutes, but it was hard not to. Every time he got out there, he was making something happen. So that's sick of talking myself out of it and just started playing them more in the third. It was great. Consider keeping him around a little bit longer in training oh, camp? Yeah, no doubt. What do you remember about the draft night and the conversation at the league's table around making that paper? Eventful, I would say. Um, uh, only because I, well, I think there was, they were trying to sort out when to pick him. When was the right time, I think, is, is what I, how you would describe it. But I know nothing about the draft. I don't watch the players. I'm not a part of the, the meetings or anything like that. But I was in Nashville a few days before. We were there working on some free agency stuff. And I wasn't a part of the draft meetings or anything. But the only name I heard all, all week when I was there was Easton Cowan. It's the only name I heard. that he was, he was the guy. So um, I know they were thrilled to, thrilled to get him, regardless of when it happened or what the circumstances were, just to, to get him. And, and then how he's looked so far. Can't help but be excited. I thought those guys got better as they went along. I the second period had some really good shifts. Bert found himself in around the net there, which is where we need him with those guys. Uh, you know, but they're you know they're definitely out of sync tonight for sure. Not not just as a line, but even individually. You know, pucks are just not quite flat for them. You know, um, you know they had a number of chances. It seemed like they were around it all night. It just wasn't wasn't in sync. So you know that's. Sometimes what you expect in these preseason games, but um, they obviously played a lot, so lots of minutes and lots of opportunity that way to, to, to shake the, the rust off. Same goal, for Kling, same goal for Klingberg as well. He said it was a bit scrambly out there. For him. I didn't hear what what was the. Same goal for Klingberg, I would imagine. He said it was a little scrambly out there. For him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played a lot, a ton of opportunity. <clears throat> for a guy like him, that's. You know, a big part of his game is looking to make things happen offensively. So it's easy to be out there and feel like, you know, uh, you know, you, you, option A is available. You feel like, yeah, maybe that's not quite good enough. He's trying to find option B and C because you're just not quite in sync. You know, and I thought at times, um, times there's plays available, it could move it, but he was just trying to make some other things happen. But I also thought, that he made some really high-end plays tonight, created some offense, created some looks. At times when you think there's nothing really there, he finds a guy that nobody else is really seeing. He got a ton of pucks to the net. I don't know how many shots he finished within the game, but he's just getting the puck to the to the paint for us. And uh, made a couple of really good uh, plays that let, ultimately led to the six-on-four goal to tie the game. Uh, so I thought it's a good good first day for him. You know, we've got work ahead of us. To continue to get familiar with him. Continue to help him acclimate here and, and make it clear what we need from him. But uh, lots of minutes, lots of opportunity today and, and a good first step. You only had really the one day to concentrate on special teams. And, and maybe this morning a little bit too. Did that show a bit tonight of looking at five on four power play? Yeah, yeah, in particular on the entries, we had some troubles there. I mean, but Ottawa's, you know, give them credit. They're as good as any team in the league with with their, uh, their stand at the blue line there in the penalty kill, so they make it hard to get through. It was interesting because I thought he had a really good plan going into the game, and and uh, we didn't quite follow it early on. And then uh, Cowan and Gregor and that group uh, got out there in the, sec you know, uh, uh, the second unit. They went out. They did what they were asked to do, and uh, got rewarded with it for a goal. So, uh, so that was good to see. They followed the plan, executed, scored, and exact same thing again on the six on four. Uh, they had a good plan. Guys went out, kept it pretty simple, and uh, did what we asked them to do and, and executed and got rewarded for it.